Again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression and Start Studio Gallery. That is a 12 inch by 16 inch canvas. This is my OXO omelet turning spatula. Flip and fold on my Amazon link. The first, well, not the first, it's, it's on the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. I'm spreading mead and black paint, which is great in one cover, one layer. Blows my mind every time I do it. The Amazon link also has my two books because I can and unlimited possibilities in case you're interested. I just mixed up a new color today. It's called Egyptian Gold. It's a prism pour from Color Art. And I want to use it in a swipe to see what happens. I still am going to use my cell activator, which is an Amsterdam black that has some pre stained wood conditioner from Minwax in it. And I have my favorite swipe card, or one of them. I have many. And I'm going to use. A zigzag pattern and some of the cobalt blue which is actually cobalt blue from Artist Loft is very much turquoise <laughs> and I have some amethyst also from Artist Loft and I hope I have enough paint I'm inclined to use a little bit more of this Egyptian co coin could use some white. You know I want to use other colors. I know you know that. So let's just do this thing. Give myself a nice heavy bead. And I'm going to start at an angle. And continue that way. Oh, I like my result. I'm not getting as many cells as I expected. But I like my result. I'm not getting any cells there. They're coming, I see them. I think I'm going to use something else. I want to use some Amsterdam white, actually. Just going to run the card through. Drag some colors down. It's not really a keyhole swipe. Something else. I'm not sure what it's called. I like to keep the colors and see if I can get some cells. I'm really surprised that this center section doesn't have anything in it. That's really weird. So that makes me want to take, first of all, I'm going to take some more of this. And then maybe a little more of whatever I need. And where's the purple I just used? Put it right there where I could find it. Cool. And a little more Egyptian coin. I didn't mix this color correctly. I mixed it with my Floetrol GAC 800 combination. I am not seeing much in the way of cells. I think I'm going to grab a smaller tool. I'm having a moment where I wish I had put some white in, but it's not like it's actually too late. I can still do that if I want to. I could do all kinds of things if I want to. Like a little more turquoise there and some here. And just use the colors that I like and drag through them because I don't see an alternative if I'm not going to get cells. I 
I might as well get some cool markings, right? Definitely want some purple there. Because they're good colors, even if they're not selling. And I have to think it's got to be <laughs> my bad recipe. I've always wanted to go in from the outside edge. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Let me think about that for a minute. I'm still enjoying the process. I could put some white in there or some pink. I see that that gap. Or some gold. I'm thinking purple. I really can't believe. That I'm not getting cells from using the Amsterdam black with my cell activator formula. That makes me want some of that green gold from folk art. Just going up and down, breaking up the line. I could do that with a basing brush too. That might be kind of cool. I might like to do this with some Venetian blue is what's in, what's in my head right now. So that's kind of cool. I like that. I should do that to the other side. Or the turquoise. So both up and down. I'm going to call it good. It is what it is, I guess. And it's kind of cool. I guess. Part of me wants to put copper in there and just swipe through. But I don't think I'm done with the gold. I really could put the basing brush in there. I could probably roll a marble around too, but I don't think that that would be very productive at this point. That's a little better, but I want copper still. But I think I will settle for some of my Decorate Americana 24 karat gold with orange in it. and see whatever else inspires me. I could probably let those run and drip instead of using the spatula. Kind of want some of that Venetian blue I was talking about earlier. Maybe I'll just leave the dots. Because that's kind of neat. I've done that before when something was a fail. It doesn't have to be a fail if you just keep playing. No purple dots. I think I'm going for it. We're still here. I am if it'll come out. And because it's a Meaden black base, it won't sink. Yep, I like that. I think I could really just keep right on going and add the Hot Orchid from Color Art. That's kind of neat. Because honestly, why not? The only thing I'm really missing at this point is some white. I love accidental art. When it's not working the way you want it to, make it work the way you want to, a different way.
So do I add the white? I kind of want to. This is an Amsterdam white. That is not what I want. I want some Anita's. And I'm willing to drop it in by dipping the end of a tool because I don't want to be swimming in this stuff. I just want some. Sometimes I make patterns and I think that would make really cool, you know, fabric. And that is definitely something I would love to be able to do more often. Yep, I'm going for it. And this is me saying thank you guys for being here. If you're subscribed, thank you. If you're not subscribed, please be welcomed. If you'd like to be subscribed, we'd love to have you. If you're new, definitely be welcomed. If you have questions, please ask me. If you're looking for my email address, it's underneath the link tree. The link tree is the first blue link under the video. And you have to open Show More to get to my email address. If you use my email address, you can inquire for a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida, the studio with me, private, one-on-one, -on -one. or you can inquire about the purchase of an artwork. You can ask me questions. If you're looking for more videos, you can ask me for a link. If you want to find my playlists, they're all playlists, creative playlists on my YouTube channel banner. Excuse me, on my YouTube channel under playlists, all playlists. My YouTube channel banner has the monthly drawing availability buttons, the Patreon and PayPal buttons. If you use them to make a donation to help support the studio's production of videos, you're automatically entered in the monthly drawing, and that happens at the beginning and the end of the month. And you can see the prizes for the drawing at the beginning of the exhibition video that changes every month, and that's on the end screens in the last 20 seconds of every video. So this is what it is, and I could probably spiral it out. It's not what I expected it to be. There's some really, really little tiny cells. Totally not what I expected at all, but it is what it is. So thank you for the thumbs up, just in case you're inclined. I'd really love to have that. Thank you for watching longer. It's the one really important thing that the YouTube algorithm understands to promote my channel a little bit better. Watching longer is it. If you are interested in anything at all, and you have a question, I think I said that already, ask me. My community board has tomorrow's video. My link tree has um, Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and more, Expressionist Art Studio fans and collectors, Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links. My Le Gallerist clothing is the top link on the link tree and it's clothing made in Montreal with my designs, my patterns, my designs. They do the clothing designing, I do the patterns. The artwork is mine. Duh. Okay, my two books are on the Amazon link. If you shop the Amazon link, it's at no added cost to you. And it helps me out. I'm going to zoom in just because. Oh, that looks pretty nice from up here. Yeah, it's pretty much more pattern than anything. But I like it. And I love you guys. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Thank you for all the wonderful comments. And thank you for all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. Bye for now. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Studio Gallery. Probably saying that for the second time. I'll, I'll see you in on. Priscilla out.